to follow that particular religion. Yeah. We can either have a paternal paradise or eternal down damnation. And God just made a place where Satan wanted to be free from God. So he just went, all right, and he just removed himself from this place. And then he just said, well, this is the place I removed myself from, and there you go, and I'll leave you to your own devices. And anybody well, else that wants to reject me, then he can go and live with you in your he place. He just honors the people's choices. If they want to go to hell, Paul, like he says, okay, this is where you want to go, and I'll let you go there. So it's just basically sort of like that. Well, in, I wouldn't say it's a case of, of wanting to go to hell. I mean, obviously, it's all to do with their belief, whether you believe the, the stories or not. Obviously, I don't. Um, but if there was such a place of, of, as uh, hell, you can't say that I chose to go there because that's absolutely not true. Well, you did by rejecting God. So you said you didn't want to be with God. So you said, well, okay, so he sends you to the other place. where he created just... He doesn't believe God exists, uh, Jason. Obviously, he's atheist. He says so in his YouTube profile there. Uh, Why would he even believe that hell exists? Say that I didn't want to be with him would mean I'd have to believe in God in the first place, and obviously the my stumbling block would be that I. Well, there you go. Well, that's it. So you just by not believing on him, go to hell. So that's the way it is. So with you like or not, there's rules. Yeah, but that's not a choice. Okay, you can be, you can call it what you like, but that's the way it is, and and the rules are set out. And it wouldn't matter which way he made the rules. If he made everything perfect, you'd be walking around going, everything's too perfect. It's just too good all the time. We need some adversity in life. Life's just no spice in life without adversity. I mean, there'd always be a critic. It wouldn't matter which way he did it. It's just that's the way the rules are. Live with it. And, and if he went in the army and said, look, I'm sorry, but I think those rules are wrong and they'll work better if you did it this way, they'd probably want to try to accommodate you there. Yeah, so it's still a form of coercion, then, isn't it? Yeah, hey, well, don't, it yes. I, don't I ever so. play crafts with the Armenian <laughs> God. You don't because want to believe me. You're going to go over there. So. Yeah. I can't hear you both talking at the same time. No, but don't play crafts with the Armenian God because he wins every time. Not Well, not believing in God doesn't remove what's already set out by God. So, but it, yeah, if if he right, if, if, if like the Armenian God will will keep him roll dice and shit, and eventually win him, if he wanted to. God doesn't need like say. I mean, I mean Taylor's <laughs> making it sound like God needs man or something. No, God is self sufficient. He doesn't need man. So he, it's just. An extra, he's extending his love to people. You know, he's, you want to experience my love, it's up to you. If you don't, then you're going to be, you know, you'll have your, your destination without me. So, how does that mean, God? You, you're an atheist? Me, yes. Yeah, it says you're an atheist. Mine says I'm a fucking Pelagian. I'm not a Pelagian. I just said, it's his show, he can do whatever he wants. Yeah, I, I heard, yeah, Prince changed it, apparently. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, just a quick yeah. question for you, though. So, you, you believe the Bible to be true, yes? Yeah? I do. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I was speaking yeah. to uh, Taylor. Yeah. Yeah, you believe the Bible to be true. Um, but it seems to me like what's happening is you're uh, you're interpreting the bits that you like to, to be what you like and bits that... Um, Thank you. That, uh, that are the other way around. You're, you're, you're ignoring the other bits because I've, I've, obviously I've just noticed well, that you're... I'm glad he said that. Uh, well, I, I like the whole Bible, Bible. Bible. The way it is. I, I like I'm the really Bible. I'm really glad you said that, man. I but, like the Bible says, to say Bible, both. Yeah, Taylor, doesn't the Bible say that um, if you if you put marks or tattoos on your skin, you will not get into the kingdom of heaven? And I've just but, noticed that your arms yeah. are full of tattoos. So you're ignoring that one. I mean, you can't, according to the Bible... But, but you're, you ignoring, in, you're ignoring no the beauty of you your universe. You, you, you have just as much faith as us. You, you really do. I mean, you say that, okay, you know, it's got nothing to do with you being in the universe and atheism is just about not believing in any God, but you're inexplicably linked to, to evolution. And, and you really, to not believe in any God, you need to be no. believe in the beginning of a universe from nothing. 
or no. you need to believe that matter and energy is from everlasting no. to everlasting. So no. you have to believe that no, nothing believe created it. everything. You've, just said I don't you've, you've got no choice. You've got everything no choice. You said, no, You're linked I'm to it. You, you can said, say, oh, that's just got nothing to do with what I believe, it, it but it does. And, and, and yes, it does. It absolutely no, I, does. I, I, I know, because I know you I have to have it. Well, where did matter come from? Where did an atom come from? Where did, where did an atom come from? How did an atom form? An atom is just energy. There's no, no evidence there's any tangible matter in an atom at all, but it's just no energy. Well, there you go. So there you go. So, well, so you have to believe, everything, you have to even believe, believe you've only got two choices. You no, believe no, everything no, came no, from no, nothing. No, you've got two choices. No, I get sick and tired of people like you coming in and saying that they're about science and we're about pseudoscience. You no, have to believe there were two choices. You've got this choice. You've got nothing created, everything from nothing, or matter and energy is eternal from everlasting to everlasting. It never had a beginning and can never have an end. And that's your two choices, buddy, as an atheist. So don't come in here on your high and mighty horse. Oh, you're a big science. Oh, you're the science deniers. And all oh, about science and your pseudoscience. You are the pseudoscientific king. You need more faith than we do. I don't think shouting at uh, Paul Cammy today is going to help. Jason is a Yorkshireman. He's not going to put up with it. And he's certainly not going to listen <laughs> to that. Well, although he is hearing what you're saying, he doesn't agree with you. I'm not biting eye for him. But, you know, shouting at Paul isn't going to convince him just my opinion who cares what my opinion is oh well hey buddy way more you need to believe nothing created everything but nothing super genius we believe that all powerful all knowing being from everlasting to everlasting created time space matter and energy you have to believe nothing did all that, you idiot. So don't get it. Just step down off your high and mighty horse and let's have a conversation, dipshit. I was trying to have a conversation. You were the one. It's hardly, that's hardly a conversation, uh, Jason. I'm glad Sparrow and Ollie have left. It's two-thirds less toxic. One who lost your shit, calm down, fella. Everything you just said doesn't is not what I have to believe. I don't believe in evolution. I don't know very much. Yeah, about I don't believe there's any gods, right? So there's no gods. So you have to believe that the beginning of the universe came about by nothing, no, because know. there's no intelligent design at all. That was my way. Yes, no, I'm sorry. You're an atheist. Atheism is inexplicably linked to evolution. I am sorry. No. But, but you, no, no, I'm sorry for you that you don't even understand your own religion and your own faith. I mean, oh, here we go again. Another one that thinks he's about science, but he has to believe nothing created everything from nothing. Nobody That's your that. belief. Nobody you no, cannot have any other way, that. mate. It's impossible. Oh, you look, cannot a have a beginning to the universe unless you believe nothing created everything from nothing. Because, and then you sit here and you're going to have the goal to tell us we believe in pseudoscience, you pseudoscience. You are a faith-based religion, you atheist idiot. You don't even understand what you believe. Then you come in in your big high and mighty horse and think you know what you're talking about. You are a, a mental midget. Finished? Have we finished? Everything you just said there it has got nothing to do with what I believe. You're, you're talking about what I believe. Being an atheist is about what you don't believe, not what you do believe. So being an atheist does not tell you anything about what I believe. I know some atheists that believe in ghosts, they believe in the supernatural, they believe in all other sorts of ridiculous things, but yet they don't believe in a God. So everything you've just said is, is patently false. 
I don't believe in evolution. I accept that that's that's what science um, explains the diversity of life. But I don't I don't have any. No, you believe what the scientists say, though. Like... I don't have to have any knowledge of evolution whatsoever. I just have to be presented that this argument here is for a god, and I look at that argument regardless of everything else. I just look at that one particular argument about this god, and I go. No, I don't believe that. That, that. that doesn't make any sense to me. That doesn't automatically mean that I've got to believe that the universe was created from, not, from nothing, which as far as I'm aware, nobody actually believes that. That's just something that you project onto people that don't believe in your particular God, that that's what we believe, but that isn't the case. I don't know how the universe uh, came into existence. I've got absolutely no idea how the universe came into I don't know how life first began. I don't know how the first cell began. I don't know. But that's nothing to do with why I don't believe in a God. The reason I don't believe in a God is every argument I've heard for the existence of a God fails on every level. That's why I don't believe in a God. The universe could have been created by aliens. It could have been created by anything. It could have been created by a God. But at the moment, I've seen no evidence for that to have happened. So everything did... you just ranted about was absolutely false. Let me ask you something. How do you think life came to be? I've just said I don't know. Do you have life? Yeah, I've got to hear that bit again. What a stupid question. I mean, you just heard the guy speaking. Stand what you believe. Then you come in here, you big high and mighty horse. No idea how the universe came into I don't know how life first began. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's your answer, Paul. Tomlinson. How the first cell began, I don't know. But that's nothing to do with why I don't believe in a God. The reason I don't believe in a God is every argument I've heard for the existence of a God fails on every level. That's why I don't believe in a God. The universe could have been created by aliens. It could have been created by anything. It could have been created by a God. But at the moment, I've seen no evidence for that to have happened. Everything did... you just ranted about was absolutely false. Let me ask you something. How do you think life came to be? I've just said I don't know. Do you have life? So you're an agnostic then, okay. And I'm a... Do you have life? You've just heard him talking to you. What a ridiculous, very American type question, really. <laughs> I want to ask you something. Do you yeah, have I, mean, life? I, I don't care whether you call me an atheist or, or an agnostic. Uh, I mean, to, to me, if, if you don't hold a God belief, that makes you an atheist. That's as simple as that. Uh, it's easier to say that I'm an atheist. People understand what, what it means. No, I because atheism belief. is not a knowledge claim. It's just a belief claim. So we don't care about beliefs. That's just an autobiography. We don't need I to know if you believe or not. It's a lack of belief. No, but we don't care though. It doesn't mean anything. It, it, it amounts to nothing. What you, what we do care about is what you know. What you say you don't know. So then, that's just you're an agnostic. Yeah, I'm, I'm agnostic on it. Yes, but I still don't believe in a god. I mean, but that's. I mean, beliefs. Beliefs can be um, manipulated. They can be wrong. Like it's you can't test beliefs. You can only test knowledge claims. So we don't, I mean, yeah. it's useless to bring up, oh, then I'm a, a atheist. What if I said I'm a atheist, that I don't believe that, I don't, I have a lack of belief that atheists don't really lack a belief in God. So do you think you would care about me saying that? I mean, no, no sure one would enough. care. It's it's no. useless. It's just an opinion. Yeah, but it's just, it's just, a, um, it's just where I am on the um, position of a belief of a... But I'm, of a, I'm just a showing you, like, it's it's really fruitless to go down the... Yeah, but what, the I'm, belief so what I'm also trying to say as well, the, the name that you give to it, I, I couldn't tell if we, whether you call me an atheist you're or an something. Agnostic, like, yeah, so you don't or, know. Or, I hope, you know, hopefully that you'll, you're, there'll be some kind of revelation to you in the future, Paul, and I'd be awesome if you become a Christian, bro, like, because I'd love to have you in the family, you know? Well, I mean, I can't see that happening because, like I say, I've, I've heard that many different uh, claims for the, uh, the God belief. Uh, you don't want to be in uh, Praise I Am's family, Paul. I mean, he calls his little community on his 12,000 subscriber channel, 20 watching uh, a family. It's a disgusting family. I don't believe it's a Christian channel. 
I've said it before, couldn't care less whether you like that or not. It's meaningless to me, really. I don't think I, I could find any way at all of proving that Praise I Am's channel is actually Christian. I mean, praise, oh, I'm not going to be on about that again. They're just toxic, poisonous. But none of them stack up as far as I'm concerned. Just the same as you don't believe in other religions and other gods, that's exactly where I am on the position of your god. It's exactly the same. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just saying, like... I. I, to me, it just irks me people bring up their beliefs, and to me, it's useless because then I can just say I'm an a atheist. I don't believe, I have a lack of belief that atheists have a lack of a belief. And it just becomes a perpetual circle, and it's useless at that point. Yeah, but it just seems like all we're going to be doing now is, is discussing the, um, the, name, the name atheist. And like I've just said, I, I don't care whether you call me an atheist, an agnostic, a non, yeah, a non -believer. I, believe It's not even for the you, name, I'm just saying with atheists in general out there that hold to this lack of belief crap like Aaron Raw. He's... Yeah, I mean, you've got, you've got atheists that are uh, they're on the YouTube. I mean, I do as well. And a lot of people that, that know me, they go, why do you even bother? They don't believe in God neither. They're just, they're just absolutely just not interested. My, my wife, she's an atheist. She never called herself an atheist. She never put it down. She just, it really just doesn't affect her life at all. She yeah. doesn't think about it. If I was to mention... You know um, why people shouldn't believe. So, oh, Paul, I'm not interested. I'm not, I'm not interested. And that, you know, if I tried to bring religion up and start to talk about religion, go, but I'm just not interested. And I, I'll go, well, look, this makes you an atheist. So just walk away and go, well, I don't care. It's 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 a subject on most people. Yeah, well, atheists wear like a badge of honor. Care. A lot of these atheists. Oh, I I yeah. definitely don't believe in a god. And like so but then they well do you know that there's not a god well no i don't know there's a god then why the frick are you telling me you don't believe it doesn't matter i don't give a crap what you believe because you can't test beliefs and then like i, I just think they do it because they think it's like bashing the theists over the head with their non-belief or something and well yeah to, to, to some degree it is. it's an interesting topic to get into i quite that's, this is why i come on to these things i find it a really interesting topic I try to get into the mindset of, of people who believe these things, but it's not just um, uh, religion. It's any any supernatural uh, belief. I've I've always had an interest in it because I find it. I, I hey, find Paul. It difficult to see how they get Paul. into these silly beliefs. Well, yeah, to me they're silly belief. Paul, did you know that um, if you blew up an atom to the size of a football stadium, its nucleus would be the size of a peanut. And that if you removed all the free space of all the atoms in your body, you could contain yourself with inside of a grain of dust. And, and, and that's with inside of a grain of dust, not, not just. And I mean, that's, that's science. That's, 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 you know, so you got these atoms. And when you look at like photos of, um, of, of uh, platinum atoms, and you see these little hard balls where well, you got these, these, these protons whizzing around at, at, at light speed which would give them appearance of a solid object. But the thing is, if you removed all the free space of all the atoms and of all the people on earth, you could fit them with inside of a sugar cube. And, 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 and this is the thing about, about, about it. Like how does, and, and when they say, okay, well, and that's even if giving that quarks have some sort of weight, right? Tangible matter in them. They say quarks have tangible matter because there's some sort of, you know, electromagnetic force there or, I think there's some sort of electromagnetic felt force pushing and pulling, which gives the appearance of a, of tangible matter. But there's no actual solid evidence that there's anything tangible inside of any atom anywhere in the universe, which means that all atoms are like uh, electromagnetic wave particles that are just held together by some weird, you know, like strong nuclear force and weak nuclear force. And it's like, what's holding them together? What brought that into existence to make it, you touch something that's just electromagnetic energy and make it feel solid? Or, you know, it gives a new meaning to sort of gravity, doesn't it? When you think gravity only has to hold on to less than a grain of dust, it's not really that much for it to hold on to. I mean, it, it's all sorts of things. It's the same with water, rocks, everything we see around us. 
and that's pretty mind blowing as far as I'm concerned. That's actual um, truth. You can um, Google that. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, and that and, and what you've just explained there would actually um, go along with uh, the Big Bang theory, then, wouldn't it? Because uh, everything everything in the universe was all condensed down to a small um, a small. Yeah, but the problem with the Big yeah. Bang Theory, so that, that being in with the Big Bang Theory, is that the fact that it would have had to have been unthinking uh, particles with no intelligence whatsoever coming together and then forming into, you know, other molecules and then and then eventually forming other molecules and so on and so on through a non-thinking process with no intelligence and no guidance whatsoever you know, to form life. And, and, and that's where it says that in the Bible, it's held together by the power of his will. And it also says that, that everything is being stretched out many times in the universe that God stretches things out. So everywhere we look, we see things being stretched out. We see, you know, this, this, this weird, it's, it's, it's almost like when you look at it in, in that way that we're living in some sort of simulation. I mean, well, it's like a me, simulation just, run by God or a simulation run by the God of the gaps. You've just perfectly explained the God of the gaps. You said, we don't understand this, we don't understand this, we don't understand this, therefore God did it. Exactly. You've just explained the God of the gaps argument absolutely You don't perfectly. explain, you don't understand the Big Bang and you don't understand a lot of things either. No, you don't understand you're, you're the... Right, no. I, don't, I don't understand the, the Big Bang. That's what, like, uh, that's what I said earlier on. Things. That's what I said earlier on, that the Big Bang or evolution or any of that lot has got absolutely nothing to do with why I disbelieve in a God. I don't understand how the Big, that Big Bang happened. I don't know how the universe came into existence. I don't know how life came into existence. But existence yeah, I know, but... but nothing it's, to do with why I don't believe in a God. Nothing there's whatsoever. just one more point to that that I need to make, that if you believe that, you also have to believe that there's some I form of eternal energy. I don't, I don't and I mean, you have to believe that there's energy that was never created, time. never had a beginning, oh, never had an end. And my God, you that's kind of everlasting to everlasting. And that's the thing that gets the Big Bang people. Either they have to believe that there's some form of energy that's from everlasting to everlasting, this that's unthinking energy, energy or... It, to do with my lack of belief. it does, because I, you I, have to have a beginning to a universe. We have an answer for the beginning. You don't. And the only answer they've got is to say nothing created everything from nothing because if they say there's anything in the law, then they say, then that then they have to admit that there's energy that's from everlasting to everlasting. And that's why Lawrence Krauss and, and Stephen Hawking and people like that hated the idea of eternal anything. I love it when YouTube right. scholars tell people what they have to believe. I know, exactly. That's all he's done since I've spoken to me. All he's done is tell me what I believe. Yeah, I'm going to assert, yeah, Jason. No, but I'm just telling you. I'm going to assert, assert because of your God belief that you believe everything came from nothing. That's what I'm going to assert. Yes, because it says that God true. created everything ex nihilo out of nothing. Where, where did God come from? You believe nothing created everything ex nihilo where did, where did out your of nothing. God, where did your God come from? Um, I don't know because it says that God's from everlasting to everlasting. But then you have to believe that nothing <laughs> created everything from nothing, or you have to believe in some That's sort exactly of what un you've just said. Un if you don't know something, doesn't mean you can automatically implant a God in there to answer all the questions. What, what, maybe you need to chill out. Maybe you need to chill out. Yeah, I'm going to assert, no, Jason. I'm, just telling you I'm going to assert. Say. I'm going to assert because of your God belief that you believe everything came from nothing. That's what I'm going to assert. Yes, because it says that God created everything ex nihilo out of nothing. Where, where did God come from? You believe nothing created everything ex nihilo where did, where did out your of nothing. God, where did your God come from? Um, I don't know because it says that God's from everlasting to everlasting. But then you have to believe that nothing <laughs> created everything from nothing or you have to believe in some That's sort exactly of unthinking, unfeeling energy that has no intelligence that's from everlasting to everlasting that created everything out of nothing i mean it, it, it just gets back to those points yeah. and and that's exactly what i'm talking about so when you start to try to say that what we believe is crazy well what you believe is just as crazy mate because i mean you think about it when did, when did paul say what you believe more is crazy faith to believe I'm nothing created everything out of nothing than, than an eternal believe. being that's from everlasting to everlasting why, why, but you why are you getting so, in why, some form why, of eternal energy and that's why are you getting most. so emotional over things paul never said but 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 i'm just saying what the theory says what what maybe, what, maybe what, you need to chill out a theory is only a theory.
because it hasn't been proved yet. Top minds? Oh, truth. Who are we on about? Yeah. Theory of evolution. Yeah, evolution is a lie. It's still only a theory. They've never proved evolution. They'd love to be able to, I'm sure. Well, well, maybe you need to and chill all, out the, and all the top minds yeah. say about the about the Big Bang and the and the beginning of the universe and that God's not not necessary well, and wh I've why seen not, all of their arguments why, right, cool, the awesome. why, why, and the why, why not and the, why not respond to Paul instead of all these so called top minds? Okay, well, well, what's your beginning to the universe then, Paul? Oh, it doesn't matter because that's not important because all that matters is what happened after I that. Is that right, Paul? For about the third time, I don't know how the universe came into existence. I also don't know how life came into existence. And neither existence. does Jason. Um, yeah, but yeah, we, I do do know, know. we do know that it's here. And we, also, existence. we also know we, we, that... We, yeah, we can all agree that it's here. Yeah, okay, just, yeah, yeah, I, I think we all, all know the universe is here. No, hold on. Let me finish. But we also see the dependency in the universe. How did that just come to be without any kind of intelligent design in, in order for the food that we need, the, the the very things we need for our body is actually here? How did that come to be? I don't know. And because we don't know something doesn't mean you can automatically implant a God in there to answer all the questions. I can put intelligence. All, it. I, well, I I can mean, all, all of that stuff is here for like a mouse as well. Did God create all of this shit for a mouse? Yes. Yes. Oh, sweet. So so mice are going to be in heaven. Can't wait. Yeah, but it, it was never meant to be the way that it is anything? now, mate, with everything killing every, everything else and, and, and the hatred and, the, and this, the evil in the world. It wasn't meant to be that way. It was because of one man's sin and fall and everything turned how, to God. How do you know that, that, though? How do you yeah. know that? So, yeah, but because one man so. sinned. That's why. So because one man sinned, every generation there on after has to suffer because of one man's sin. That's a... Absolute yes. God, Until so, it's restored. God, that's, uh, well, and it also says no matter what you go through in this world, as long as you believe that you, when so, you get to eternity, your tears and pain will be washed away forever. And that means for billions or trillions of years, it's just a drop in the bucket. So, so it, 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 it appears to me, that. it appears to me, Jason has all of the answers. And all we need to do is listen to Jason and everybody's going to know everything about everything they need to know. Because, I mean, you know everything, right? Like, you have all the answers. You understand I'll, all of these great mysteries in life. Well, look, well, I don't think he's saying that. But yeah, exactly I'm just saying saying. yes. I just exactly say. what he's saying. It's on, on, on any question, God did it. Whether it's well, come to the start of life, how the well, universe began. go back to God did, it God all. did everything, all the evil. No men fell and everything turned evil and God, well... You know, also people bring a lot of bad things on themselves, and then wow. you know they turn around, and they say, they say, well, 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 this happens and shit happens, and and that's just the way things are, and that's life, and well, sometimes it is, and sometimes it isn't, and sometimes you know, like well, okay, is, say say cool. say you did some bad things, and God just thought of step back from you, and and then that gives demons jurisdiction in your life and it causes problems in your life and then you've well, got to turn around and start spitting hatred well, at God. My, my lack of God belief hasn't, hasn't had any uh, adverse well, effect on my life. How do you know that that's demons, though? How do you know it's not, like, say, something like the law of karma? Like, everything you put out into the universe is going to come back on you. How do you know it's demons messing with you since you've done demon. so much wrong? Well, why believe in karma when you can believe in exactly what it is? Where does the law of karma when you, come when from? You do, when you do evil in the world or do bad things in the world. Well, the law of karma, yeah. basically. I mean, I don't believe in karma one little little bit, but give, um, if people believe in karma, bad things, if people go about doing bad law. things, and basically if I go about being a dick the whole of, all of the time, then that's going to come back on, on me because people are going to treat me in a bad way because I treat them in a bad way. So that's when the, simple to work that one out. So when the Bible says you're going to... Necessarily, you might be so, a dick to the people halfway around Jason, the world and be really Jason, nice to bro. everyone where you are and everyone think you're an angel and and uh, and and some other yeah, sort of... Yeah, so like know, I was saying, so the people that I interact you, with on a daily could, basis, yeah. my God, you can't shut up. Jason, if, I interact, if I interact with people daily and I go around being a dick all the time, then obviously I'm not going to be treated in a very good way. So that will make my life miserable. So if I treat people with kindness and I'm, I'm 
and, and you're generally a good person towards people. I generally find that that sort of comes back to me. So that improves my life. So me being nice to other people improves my life as well as it improves them. And if everybody did the same thing, life would improve for everybody. And that's the same as, as karma. That's where the idea of karma comes on. You see that's, people that go along being a dick all the time, and then bad things happen to them. It usually happens to them because they're being a dick all the time. Well, I mean, in the Bible, well, that's what it, it says, says about Christians, Christians, and I suppose Jason, you treat everyone Jason, as their enemies. Jason, Jason, please, yeah. man, quit. Just for a second, please. Huh. Um, in the Bible, it says you reap what you sow. That's how God set it out. Karma has yeah, a, so a that was that was probably people two thousand years ago understanding pretty much how life works. Uh, and yes, what I would agree. You read what you say. You generally, if you're a good person, generally people will treat you good. That's that, we don't need the Bible to tell us that. That's just bloody obvious to anybody who's got um, half of a brain. Yeah, but it does tell you that. Yes, because even back in them days, people understood that. Okay, but if the Bible says something, it's saying that's how it's going to be. Well, no, the Bible you says something can't it's understand what you said today. A bit of an understanding of roughly how life goes. So somebody a couple of thousand years ago realized that literally if you treat people with respect and you treat people well, generally that comes back, you reap what you sow. The lad down the street is a bit of a dick, he's always getting into bother, nobody treats him nice, he ends up with a bit of a miserable life. That's not really that hard to understand. You don't need the Bible to tell you that. Just because it's written in the Bible doesn't mean that's where it's coming from. It's just would... an observation that somebody made. 2000 years ago. Well, yeah, I mean, I, and, it, and just because it was written in the Bible doesn't even mean it's an original idea to the Bible. I just mentioned the law of karma. Um, you know, the Buddha goes back to, uh, you know, 500 years before Jesus Christ, maybe 300 years before um, even the, the Torah was conceived. And yet they were talking about you reap what you sow. Yeah, but my, my point is this, is that uh, if God said it out and it's true, could you agree that you agree with what God says? No, I agree with the statement. I don't... Sky Art comes in. I'm going to move it forward a bit. Uh, that's probably the only way this conversation is going to move forward. That Sky Art comes in. I wonder if it's going to end up in a dumpster fire. Probably will. I don't know. Not really looking for a dumpster fire, but... Well, the reason yeah, karma, I'm, I'm, the reason just, by the time I was about 18, I think, but yeah, going back to that, I mean, it's like I live on this street here and generally everybody on this street gets along and, uh, you know, I can go next door and knock on any door on the street and I can get help if I need it. Now, if I, if I decide when I get up this morning, I'm just going to park my car where I want. I'm just going to touch stuff on the street. I'm just going to be an absolute pain in the neck on the street. I'm going to play music loud at 11 or 12 o'clock at night, blasting out the house. I can guarantee that people's attitude out there towards me after I've been doing that for a large, you know, long period of time, is going to completely change to how it is at the moment. And, that, and that's it's, it's the reason. Easy to work that out. The reason karma isn't true is because it is true that you don't always get what you deserve. You don't always get what. Okay, you deserve. Okay, okay, but the reason you reap what you sow is true is because if you don't change, what you're becoming is what you're reaping. Yeah, which is just what I've just explained. If I get up to this morning and just decide from now on, I'm just going to do what I want. I'm going to treat the street as I want. I'm going to, I'm not going to give any consideration to my neighbours whatsoever. I can guarantee within a short period of time that the relationship that I've got with all my neighbours is absolutely going to change because they aren't mm. going to treat me with the respect that I want due to the fact that I'm not treating them with the respect that they want or deserve. Don't, don't you guys get tired of the trash clown atheists and the mental piss wizards that come into your room, praise? Because er everything I hear from from the atheists, they don't have any absolute standard in anything they're saying. No objective standard. We came from Darwinian evolution by natural selection. Oh, here we go again. Oh, man. He doesn't even believe evolution. I don't know about raging atheists. Uh, I do find him funny, though. He doesn't believe in evolution. He's got morals. He's got ethics. Survival mechanisms, I suppose you could call them. Really, if you want to survive in this world, generally speaking, you need to be polite, sort of well-mannered. You know, uh, 
apply a bit of common sense to the way you live. And and all I hear is this mental midget tree, this hypocritical subhuman whore Wait, bag of when, when did you hear all of this stuff today sky i don't think I paul said any of that and i don't think i did either no <laughs> i'm i'm calling you guys out on your position of atheism that and you are now. wrong another youtube scholar that knows the position know. of every human being on the planet well i mean if i need to Jesus find out what Christ? i believe i'm just going to go to sky out and ask him because obviously you know more about what exactly i believe than anybody else i said exactly today what he said about that yes Hey, Sky, it, though, we were having actually a decent conversation, and you come in and just start, like, putting the hammer down. Yeah, I, mean, it's kind I, of I an, called it's kind him of, out on that. I know, there. but that's that's kind of an interference, so while we're having, you know. Well, I, I respect you, Paul, and if you want to finish your conversation, I'll, I'll shut up. But for no, now, I'm, just I, saying, I'm just saying as a brother, if we're going to be a witness, you know, we probably should be. Oh, sure. I, I say this yeah. out of the love of Jesus Christ, that they're mental piss wizards, and they uh, reject their say, Savior. Say, okay. They reject our savior, brother. That's well, I'm you know, doing I, this I, I love. I'm not going to lie, Sky. Out. Sometimes I am a, a mental piss wizard. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I just wish you could admit the same thing about yourself. Well, I can't. Damn. We can't all be a, a hypocritical subhuman whore bag of dicks, Rage. Well, I... now that's a convincing argument, isn't it, Sky? Out. Hey, eh? true. I mean, but that's kind of what you're being here right now, though, right? Well, you're being a degenerate slime whore, and you're How? being a trash clown. Yeah, I, I'm How? Sorry, I, 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 I've been, I'm I've out. been pretty chill, dude. I'll Wait see a minute, Smokey's line here is he? And and this is no, I respect you, Rage. You know, this is not on a personal level, and this is just we're, we're trying to save you out of a love savior, Jesus Christ, and we know that you reject him. All right, we well, let's, that, let's discuss that. Do you think calling me a slime ball is going to bring me to you know any closer to your God? No. Well, point exactly. But now Veckel is here. Oh, he's going to swoop in and share his dialectic or his philosophical whatever. Blah, blah. Oh, this is going to get silly. I think. Usually does. It's gonna ask what's going on, guys. Well, it's it, it's to provoke you into understanding. And trash whore. We we're calling you out of your atheism and saying you're a trash clown. Well, uh, so so you must not be up on 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 the present news. I've I, I've declared I'm no longer an atheist. Philosophically, I I have to say I'm an agnostic. That's I don't, I, I don't know. I, I've, I don't know. In fact, you know, I've been talking a lot about the Tao right now, like the great mystery, the great the great energy of the universe that that I don't think any human being can understand. Well, yeah. And, you know, I've met another person that was experiencing the Tao and they also dabble in crystal sage magic and voodoo cult blood magic. And they chop goats heads off and drink their bloods for power. This is all satanic. And it's a it, manipulation. Do you, do you do you know who used to you know sacrifice animals and stuff too? What? Well, yeah, the, like uh, all that blood, all the blood. Yeah. yeah, all the false religions. Yeah. Do, do you know who loved the the smell of the burnt flesh of all those slaughtered animals more than anything? They they there's a whole bunch of groups that love that smell. That's I'm talking. About, I'm talking about your god, dude. I see oh. you're sitting here being a straight hypocrite. Like and you you don't even like you you're talking to us about being a hypocrite, but you're the one coming in here being completely hypocritical to your supposed world. We love worldview. steaks and chicken. And, mean, and, and on, we, we got we got to appreciate Rage's empty posturing, like he knows the Bible. It's just empty posturing, and this is just another example of a degenerate slime whore because he is a lying, deceiving whore bag piece of shit. What and, did I just lie though? Well, you don't have an absolute standard in what you're saying. It's just your opinion. Oh, because I don't have an absolute standard. What the Bible says doesn't matter. You don't understand the Bible because you don't have no free oh, will. I can't you're... understand the, the basic, you know, you can't. It's words impossible. of the Bible. It's, it's, impossible it's impossible for you to understand. So now you're, a... now you're just like Jill. It's impossible for you to understand uh, because I'm a Calvinist. You're totally depraved. You're in your sins. You're dead in your trespasses. You have no free will to believe. So you're a Calvinist. How do you know that you're elect and you're not going to be in hell with me? Oh, because God has called me. 
Yeah, oh. I'm part of his elect, I believe. He's an elect. Um, yeah, I'm the elect. So is Praise and Paul and everyone that believes. But can you not been... see how like making you an elect is a reflect like a not a great reflection on this so-called God? Well, that that's your opinion. But sure, again, you don't I mean, have an absolute standard. I mean, it, it, I, I would think I would think if you're going to go around calling people like slime, whatever the heck, degenerate you're, slime, try, try, trying to be like Smokey say, if you're going to go around being like that, then and and then you're elected. Well, you must not want a very good representation. No, no, no. You, you you hate my God. So in order to communicate to you out of the love of Jesus Christ, I have to call How you. How can I hate something speaking? I'm agnostic on? Yeah, okay, I'm my bad. You're agnostic. Yeah, I my bad. God, I just don't believe he exists. There's no hate there. Oh, well, that's a contradiction in terms, Paul. No, it's not. I, I also, and, I also, I also I, don't believe in uh, unicorns. It doesn't mean I hate them. Uh, you know, I will admit, like, you know, over the past five years, I'd, I'd come to, like, grow some hatred for the followers of your God. And that's what I'm trying <laughs> to work on. You know, like, that's what I'm trying to work on is is oh, seeing yeah. seeing you guys, you know, with my own ego instead of just what you're presenting to me. Right. Like judging you just based on your belief as opposed to who you are as people or or the things you're presenting to me as information see that's what I, i'm trying yeah. to work on i can see that in myself and i can say you know what i don't like that about myself and i want to work on that well I, my response would be like you know maybe you had a bad experience from some from some christians which we all have and but that doesn't reflect maybe on i'm the, having a bad experience with a christian right now skyo well how would you know that well, I mean, maybe because he's calling me names. <laughs> he's calling you what? He's calling you names? Ca calling me names, being rude, being a dick. Oh, I'm calling you a lying to Why, why would I listen next? to anything you say when you show me no respect at all? Because you hate my God. I can't hate something I'm agnostic on, dude. That That's, well, that's like saying, it's like saying I hate Voldemort. You know, and I, I'm not even agnostic on Voldemort. I just don't believe the dude is real, right? Well, right, and that has, that, now that has to do with ep epistemic judgment and epistemic frameworks after that of knowledge, but because you don't have enough knowledge or warrant to say it, it's not true. But so, do you have enough enough knowledge and do warrant you, to say it is? Hey, what, how would you define God, Rage? Yeah. Well, see, see, that's been you know like the focus of of what I've been focusing on, right? Like, so like if you define God as a divine being, right? Like, I, I don't get behind that. I, I can't say, you know, I'm agnostic. I, I, I'm, not, I'm no longer going to say like, that's impossible. Four okay. weeks ago, I would have told you straight up impossible. I, I don't know. I really, I truly do not know. You know, that's the honest answer. I don't know if that's possible. But like, if, you know, if it comes to like, something beyond this universe that's beyond us that we can't see we can't feel we can't understand yeah man i i think that that's probably probable because there's so much we don't know you know and and you know i've done it for five years and i'm really trying to change this about myself and this is what i would suggest to all of you guys don't pretend like you know because you don't you think you'd you think you have answers but you know nothing and and you know your your ancestors 10 generations from now are going to have so much so much more information than you have right now well i would say our response is that and the bible says that we're all sinners and the more you try not to believe in god you're actually strengthening the bible that sin is unbelief that it's true and we need jesus christ so the, the more the more you don't like god and don't accept his word you're admitting that sin it is true and it's stopping you from believing in god so that that's our position so what if you accept his word you know like what is acceptable to you and and then you reject what is rejectable to you is that still like cool well he will he will call you rage it's not like so you, you gotta reject you you've got to accept every word of god so which ones do you know is the word of god which ones do you know is the words of man you know because obviously you know he used men to to, as his instruments in in writing his words, so so s somewhere in there, man had to be involved, right? Of course. But so it, so, how it, do you differentiate the two? Is it is it is it your discernment? Is it your great scholarship? Is it your great knowledge that you seem to have so much of? It's reliability. That doesn't make any sense. Explain it. It does. It's the reliability of the text. So, like, the Bible is 98.3% accurate, the manuscript evidence, than any religion. So we can show you the manuscript evidence of why we believe in these words and that, and that it is the inspired word of God. And it's called textual criticism. Cool. Give me some of that. 
Oh, awesome, awesome. I still have your email. I will give you a butt fucking load of it. Well, the, I, I still do check the my old email, the Raging Atheist. Uh, oh, the okay. new email is uh, rage to reason at gmail dot com. Rage uh, to reason. Rage. I got you. Rage to reason. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, it, it is the account that I'm trying to be on 99% of the time, but I do I do pull up the the rage thing every once in a while. Cool. Yeah, we got we got the evidence and proof for you, brother. We're trying to get you yeah, back I'd, on our I'd, side. I'd love to look at it. You know, it may, maybe maybe sending me that instead of calling me a slime ball would would go a long way. Well, if you be a little bit more accept, <laughs> accepting, I wouldn't have to call you degenerate. At least slime call ho. him a slime hoe. Like I think yeah. that's so much more class. Hey, Ray, Tra- trash class. clown, trash clown was my classical favorite. I mean, if, if you're gonna if you're gonna try to be smoky, just go all the way, dude. Trash. I did call you a trash clown. Hey, Ray, can I ask you two questions? Sure. Uh, one, have you ever heard the gospel? And, if, and two, if you did, how did you respond after you heard the gospel? So, like, when you say, have you ever heard the gospel, are you asking me if I've ever read the Bible or if I've ever listened to a preacher preach it? No, I'm asking if anybody ever told you that, uh, you know, man sinned, we were, we're all sinners, and we have a holy God, and he sent oh, yeah. his son. He sent his son. All the time. Yeah, and he he gave himself. He gave himself because he lived righteously and holy as a living sacrifice to God to pay the debt of all sins. And then God resurrected that bodily death and gave him a glorified body in order to say that this is what only God can raise the dead. Yeah, And he gave a step of approval. So then he returned to the Father and he told us to go preach the gospel. So I'm asking you, when you hear that, that God loved you while you were a sinner and he sent his son to die for you, did that have any effect on you on how you see God? No, not I don't at all. see any evidence that what you've just said is true. Yeah, not That's at all. None of um, that appears to be true. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. you can't. So, prove so that. A, a lot of people, so a lot of people have have told me what what you just said, and then a lot of people, same believing in the same God, have come at me and told me that I raped my kid. Wow. You know that yeah. that I. Um, that I'm a reprobate degenerate that's less than a dog in the eyes okay. of God. I'm you, sorry, you know? man. I'm sorry for that, but I, I'm so, not doing so, that. So, you know, the hypocrisy that I, co- that I see coming from people with this same exact message, it, it's very easy for me to dismiss it. But outside of that, to what Paul said, it's like, how do you know any of that, right? Like, what does your life experience um, show you that would dictate any of what you just said is even possible? Well, this is the initial step this is the thing about it god said it's impossible to please him without faith right and the way we define faith is according to the bible is assurance of hope in god so yo praise that, beckles in the oh, back chair uh, hold on he's a oh. calvinist like i don't think he's so, coming in tonight so he's, he says he's backstage right now okay no i'm not letting him in there i'm just kidding there he is so so the point is where was i at Sorry, guys. You were talking about sin. And- no, no, I'm talking about I'm talking about faith. I'm yes. talking about faith. I'm talking about Both the very first reasons. the very first step of faith is that you have to humble yourself to the idea that what you're hearing is coming from God. Oh yeah, they'll just ask you, well, how do you know it's true? How do you know it. it's true? Yeah, but if you're that's not will- if you're if you're not willing to take that step of faith. Because that's the only way you can please God. Well, how do you know it's true? That's what they'll keep saying. Well, God will reveal Himself. Well, how yeah, do you know that's true? Is faith is belief without evidence. So what you've got to do is you've got to believe something without evidence first, because that's what, what faith is. What do you mean without evidence? Well, why, why do you need faith if you've got evidence to believe? No, we got a, we got a Bible faith, full of it's evidence. It's faith in the evidence. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just because you deny the evidence doesn't mean it isn't evidence. See, now we're in philosophy of truth. But but this is my point that I'm trying to make is that. You can never get to the point that you're. You say that you don't believe God, but you've never took the steps that God said you had to take in order to know Him. So my my point is is why don't you, if you really want to know, if you really want to know, why don't you do what God asks you to do? And if it's if it's not true, you have nothing to lose. Well, so most of us atheists, though, we we feel like we have right. It, it's one of the reasons, like it, at least most of us American atheists. Most of us come out, not all of us, but most of us come out of Christianity. We have a Christian background. You know, I'm the first to admit to you that I probably didn't follow all the tenets like I should. I was pretty, um, 
I, I was a pretty wild teenager. Um, but but at the same time, I did live that life. I, I grew up in a Southern Baptist household. I, I went to a Southern Baptist church. I rejected that life. I still reject that life. I, and I'm hunting right now. I've made that very clear. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to seek a, a greater truth than the truth that I've had. Um, but when it comes to like the God of Abraham, there, there doesn't seem to be to me to be any evidence outside of personal experience. That is ridiculous. Well, I Jesus. mean, historical evidence is, I mean, there's no religion even comparable. I, I hear you playing Call of Duty, praise. Well, I mean, I, I agree. Like, there's historical evidence, but there's historical evidence for no, every religion. Not even in the, even the same league or the same uh, world. Because is. the Bible gets a few things, you know, accurate. Or, or no, it's not even to, a few things. The place. I mean, even well, Jesus. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll wait for some of this information that, that, that you know, uh, uh, Sky is going to send me. I almost said praise, but... Yeah. You know, it, it, I'm stuff, just relating oh, yeah. to, to my experience. Like, like we have uh, most atheists, and, and this is, you know, where you run wrong with atheists. I think because, and I, I said this coming in. You know, YouTube scholars. I thought that I was one for so long. Like, you, you want to think that you know everything about everybody, but you don't. And, and just stop assuming so much, and and start maybe listening. And, and, and that that needs to go for both ways. Like, I, I I'm totally on board with the fact that atheists do the same damn thing. We, we we all need to just stop and listen to each other and stop pointing the finger at each other and saying, you bad, me good. You, you know, it, it's getting us nowhere. Yeah, but Jesus is historical evidence, and Jesus did raise from the dead. He had over 500 witnesses. No, the that's fact, just a claim in the book, because I was just going to put, uh, put in there well, and well, say well, the same thing. That, that I, 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 I don't think there's very good you, historical you, evidence for Jesus myself. I don't you, think there's well, no, actually said, a creed that yeah. was dispersed. Yeah, I mean, the 500 well, you've got a book that says there was the 500 only person that knew eyewitnesses, that was like, but what, none of them are named. There's no, well, no, there is an oral them. tradition, though, of that, so it's it's not just written in a book, it's it was, yeah, there's also an oral tradition of Robin Hood, but that doesn't make it true just because it's there's an oral. Well, tradition. no, it goes into like almost two years after the resurrection, 35 and, and AD. That's pretty, there's, there's still an oral tradition read, among some that like Jesus Jim really Jones existed, was right. Why don't we have yeah. more accounts of Jesus <laughs> back in the time, we don't have many account any accounts of Jesus, but no, we got, this, we got, we got the, four most of the accounts. accounts were after after Jesus supposedly minute. died. That's where the accounts came from. I know, but Basically, I'm sorry, starting, Paul. With, starting with Paul um, as the uh, probably the earliest writings you've got of Jesus. You've got nothing. Any, you don't have anything prior to that. Listen, Paul. The problem that I have with that is that you can't just assume that. I'm not. It's not a case of assuming. We it. That's do have records. No, That's what the evidence seems to say. Right, bring me, bring me a record before the Bible Paul of Jesus existing. I have four Gospels that give record of the time that he was on earth. Uh, and when were they written? When were and the then, Gospels and then, written? And then I have books. The Gospels were all years, written after hundreds Jesus of years existed. prior to that, prophesying it. Not even and pro, and pro, yeah, and the and the yeah, and and the Jewish religion at the time is what you're talking about. They absolutely disagree with you. So the people whose book it was to start with, who was prophesizing all this. Absolutely disagree with you. Well, no, that's like the they were actually no, that is, that opposition to dope. Christianity. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, that so that's not rival. that's not evidence of Christianity. What? Well, it is because they're they're hostile to uh, their opposition to Christianity. So then, why? So you, you, wait a minute. So are you assuming that all the people at the time go along with that? They didn't. They didn't think that Jesus was the Messiah or or um, what was prophesied. Well, they never they, have. They, they disagreed with it. You Except think all for the you, other Jews? See, like, there's two different camps of Jews that you're not seeing there, Paul. You're, right. you're seeing only the Talmudic side. Uh, but but they don't agree with your um, uh, interpretation of Jesus. Well, they never have. That's my point. But no, but the point is, like, you're not even looking at a real Jew. Like, I think you need to understand what a real Jew is. Well, take a real Jew. Do they believe that uh, Jesus was the son of uh, uh, God? Was brought here uh, from uh, from God? He died. He died for everybody's sins. He was crucified and came back to, to life. Do they believe that? Yeah, no, Jesus they have says to. the real Jews. Yeah, Paul says a real Jew is when inwardly that has the right. So a real Jew basically is a Christian, is what you're saying. Yeah, that has, it's called the um, circumcision of the heart. That's what Paul said. So the real yeah. Jews understand this, like a, a, a Jesus Christ. They understood he was the Messiah, the line of, the line of Judah. Right. And the, the priest's line of Aaron, yeah. Yeah, the idea of yeah, a righteous the man. The, the time, idea of a righteous man dying for the unrighteous. You know, we're talking about a whole nother level of love here. 
And yeah. I would like to add that truth does not exist unless you start with God. Evidence doesn't make sense unless you start with God. Logic doesn't make sense unless you start with God. Now you say, which God? And it's the only one we both already know and accept. You're the one who is suppressing the knowledge and truth of God, and we're not. So the Bible says you have enough evidence to believe in him, and you're saying you need evidence. So the God of the Bible says you already know God, but you're saying you need proof. And are you not like the judge when, when you get proof? So however, so God says you have enough proof already. I'm, and then you I'm say, the judge of the evidence that was presented to me, yes. I judge right. the evidence and, and that God says you have enough what evidence already. What you just said already. then made absolutely no sense at all. So you're saying that, 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 that no logic, sense. reason, uh, philosophy, everything all goes back to God. But you haven't you haven't given a good enough argument to say you that haven't given true. a good enough argument that you can just discredit the Bible like you do either. Uh, yeah, I, so, can. So, I, I, I just said I, that I think it's when fairly it comes, easy when it comes to, to Christianity. When it comes to Christianity, yeah, but, but I like to see um, you try that. The you've got was after Jesus supposedly lived. So all the stories you've got of Jesus were all written. 20, 30 years after it's no, it was if you have the Pauline Creed, from the Pauline time Creed he, he 35 AD, Paul. That's just simply not true, man. It's actually t up to two years after the resurrection, which is amazing in ancient times. There is there is no ancient records even close to that, any type of ancient writings that go to that well, early. You know, we do tell time by Jesus, right? You uh, know that, right? Well, I, I, I and what, what real quick to like Veckel's point, I'd like to say like, it's, it's easy for me to dismiss the Bible, right? And please let me finish my point here. Um, like, you know, I, we know the oath, the earth is older than 6,500 years. We know that a global flood didn't happen. Um, you know, in our, in our reality, we don't see magic. We don't see wizards casting spells. We don't see demons, you know, it, it's easy to dismiss a lot of and i'm not even see, saying like you know what they were trying to tap into is untrue what i'm saying is that it was it was clearly um fouled up um by man right because they're in my opinion they're trying to tap into this great mystery mystery they're trying to explain the universe as they knew it with the information that they had at the time um and, and they just fouled it up a lot and it's easy for me to to see that and say you you know i can dismiss a lot of this as just you know, human rubbish from from ancient from the ancient days. And, okay, so and my my this, new tack though is to say you know it, it doesn't mean it's untrue. Like the the the, the okay, premise of go. God or or the fact that that God is untrue. It just means that you know these human beings just means that you they're, you're not they're, they're human and they're imperfect and they couldn't explain the great mystery of life any better than any of us can because we're all relegated to this planet. We all have very limited information. The amount of information we don't have is is unlimited. That just so so they they were just trying to explain something. Why take it so so? That, that just sounds like you're just dismissing it uh, uh, subjectively, then, which is fine. I mean, you you don't believe it. You're not convinced. Well, I, I, yeah, that's I'm fine. But that's not a, based upon my reality. Yeah, but 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 no, no, I, it, your reality means nothing to me. I I I'll talk. I'm I'm concerned about the reality, the, the reality that we both uh, can can grasp uh, empirically. And I, you know, I'm not going to argue with your opinion about the way you perceive the Bible, uh, because all you did just uh, just for this one moment that you spoke was point out your disbelief. OK, that's that's not debunking the Bible. Well, I, that's just I'm a naturalist. I don't believe the supernatural. OK, fine. I don't believe in the supernatural. No, but I, 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 I was more concerned of you trying to debunk the Bible. I thought that's what I heard you say, but you didn't debunk the Bible. You just dismiss it. Okay, I no, got you. Well, I wasn't trying to debunk the Bible. I was trying to tell you that, that why this, you don't believe this it. Bible was written by human <laughs> beings a long time ago. True. Uh, but all, all I all I'm hearing from you though is that you're not convinced. Your prejudice. Yeah, that's all I'm hearing. You haven't, you haven't demonstrated anything objectively that debunks the Bible, though. And if all you're saying is that, well, I think this because these people were primitive back then, they needed explanations for this and this and this. Um, okay, I'll I'll grant you that because you're speaking from a very uh, subjective and biased position. But that's not. But I don't. I don't accept that. I don't accept that as an actual legitimate debunking of the Bible. How are you not speaking from a subjective position? No, no, no. Are you yes or no? Are you making the, the claims that you just made right now? They, they're purely subjective, right? Because you haven't subjective. debunked the Bible. You're just speaking from your yeah, point that's of view. What I <laughs> right, so 
How is anything that you just said, Vecco? How, how is anything that anybody here has said not subjective? Well, the reason I believe the Bible is because I can't debunk the Bible. Yeah, but what Rage did there, he actually did debunk the Bible because um, if you go right back to the very beginning, like like he just said, we we know the Earth is older than six thousand years old. We, well, let's we talk know about that. that. We, we know. Wait, that, wait, where, um, does, where does the Bible say that the Earth is uh, older? Uh, is six thousand years old or younger? Because this is well, the problem I have with the young with the young Earth. Yeah, if you um, we've got uh, some people who believe the Earth is young, some people. Oh uh, yeah, believe some it, people. Believe it's old. Yeah, I mean, th yeah. there's a genealogy in the Bible, I guess that they, yeah, they, they go, go by. You but, got the genealogy you know, I, in the Bible. Gotcha. I, I I actually agree with the old Earth creationist on this. I I think that you know that there was. You're problems. entitled to believe that. It, you, you, but, you know, see, like, we're talking about what does the Bible say? Does the Bible prove that the earth well, is 6,000 years well, old? I mean, I would disagree my, my with the point, fucking Hoven on that. Even my though point I love is Hoven, that the, the Bible is fallible, and why, why do you take it so seriously? So give me reasons why I, I, I should take I, it so seriously. If I take it seriously because it's infallible, not because it's fallible. The it's Bible just makes claims. It doesn't have any proof of anything. What do you mean? Doesn't have any proof of anything. It doesn't have like proof what? of anything. It doesn't, all like it what? does is make claims. Okay, so there's no proof of the sun existing. There's no proof of grass. There's no proof of creatures. That, there's no proof of sin. To do with the Bible. Okay, let's talk about I philosophy. That, what that, about that let's, that we can say let's, let's talk about philosophically speaking. The is there an evidence of people it. committing sin? Is there evidence of people committing sin? I don't believe do, in does sin. sin. Does sin exist in the world today? I don't believe in sin. What do you mean you don't believe in sin? Why we have jails then? Nobody believe in sin. It believes that people do do wrong, commit crime, commit evil acts. Why would he use biblical terminology to define what he or anybody else does, Beckle? You dummy. Why do we have jails then? That's not to do with sin. That's about religion. yes. It is sin. Sin. How does the Bible define sin? Wrongdoing. How does the Bible define sin? I Paul. Don't know what you're Paul. Yes, how yes. does how does the Bible yes. define I'm what saying, sin I'm is? Just saying, I don't know how the Bible. Uh, what do you mean you don't know? Sin. My understanding of sin is to do something against God. So um, blasphemy would be a sin. I wouldn't class that as a sin. Okay, that's one kind of sin, right? But there's also no, rape. Don't. Rape is a sin, right? No, that'd be a criminal offense. Uh, <laughs> you see, right there. This is what atheists have to do anybody, in no, order to try to I've debunk the used, Bible. Right? Sin, he comes right, out right, and makes right, these positive right, claims, right, and none of which he can't right, substantiate. They hate the Bible so right, much that they no, can no, only no, say no, that the Bible is not true, right? But then when you ask them to prove to us that the Bible is not true, they mainly end up speaking from their own subjective view. Which is Absolutely fine, right. but Which you can't say that your subjective right. view is something that is uh, 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 empirically demonstrated. Or true. Right. Yeah. So if we're based off use, anything empirically, rather, I should say. Sin, if we're going to use the word sin. See, so now here's what it comes down to. Wrong. It comes down okay. to okay. them trying to hijack definitions. This is what atheists do. Vecco, it's so, it's so frustrating. No, my understanding of the definition of a sin would be to do something against against your own people. understanding. So wait a minute. So if it's your own understanding, then how in the hell are you going to try to use your subjective view right. to try and to I debunk something said, empirically? Use, okay, it doesn't work that way. Right. Okay. You mean you sin? Right as right to do something wrong. So okay. 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 Wait. 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 Hold on. Hold on. This is so stupid. Oh, hold on. No. I, I asked him. The word sin as doing something wrong, so we can use the word sin going See, forward as doing something hijacking wrong. Hijacking of definitions. You should call him a hypocritical. So what's your, what, it, what's your definition? It's a hijacking of a definition. So, Hold on a second. This this man just, just told. Definition. Can I? This have man just. Of sin? This man just told everyone he made a, a positive claim. Can I have your that, definition of a can, sin. Can I finish? I, I'm gonna let you finish it. Then you but that, you go ahead. All right, all right. Just don't pull a Kanye West on me while I'm speaking. Okay, hold on. Now, this man just said la, 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 la. the Bible is not true. There's nothing in the Bible. It's true. I says, well, what, what do you mean by that? And then he talks about. Uh, I asked him uh, about uh, about sin. About uh, you know, are there things? Right. Does the Bible cover things in the world? Yes, it does. Okay, it does talk about things like crime. It does talk about evil. And then he said, no, it doesn't. I says, well, okay, well. What do we? What do you call a sin? And they say it's a violation of God. Well, yeah, obviously it is. 
Okay, but the Bible also does talk about how the the penalties for these actions and why are there penalties? Because these things are evil. Okay, we're not talking about why God calls them evil. We're talking about whether or not the Bible even talks about these things. In the Bible, you have people that are that are incarcerated for committing murder. People are killed for raping people. Okay, people are incarcerated for stealing. So you mean to tell me that the Bible doesn't cover simple things like that, like these these issues here? Doesn't the Bible talk about grass? Doesn't the Bible talk about the sun, the moon, the stars? Doesn't the Bible talk about inner human interaction? So I so recall, um, so I recall the Bible talking no, about God ordering his Israelites to rape women. No, no, see, I have to correct oh, you on that 31? multiple times. I, I know numbers yeah, 31, dude. Yeah, they, they love them some numbers 31, they don't they? They love them some numbers 31, don't they? Yeah. They do, man. Well, getting off that one, what you've just mentioned there, um, when I when I said that you don't get any truth when you don't get any truth from the Bible, what I'm saying is if you want an answer to something, the last place I would go to would be the Bible to get an answer to something. Well, okay, that's fine. About, that's your opinion. We, we, you mentioned about um sin and what your definition of a sin is, which you haven't really explained it to me yet. I'm assuming it is just to do something what we would all agree is wrong. Is that is that what your what is that your definition of a yeah. sin? You talk to the Christian, the average Christian would tell you that sin is uh mean well, it literally means missing the mark, but the way it's this uh described in the Bible, it's a violation of any uh God's uh commands. You're, you're dead Which is why I just did, so, so it goes back to exactly what I said. I don't use the word sin. And you said I was trying to basically um uh, change the definition, and I wasn't, was I? So you okay, no, you're trying to you, no, you're trying, trying to get away from the fact that no, 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 you're denying the word sin and the definition of sin, so you can get away from the yeah. fact no, that the Bible does the cover word. these issues about uh, it, human. Do I, do I agree? Do, do I know that sin? Joe, Joe wants to come in, uh, praise it's, it's, by the way. And I said, no, I don't believe in sin. Well, and you don't don't I don't care if you don't believe in the definition of sin. The fact of the matter is that the Bible does, in fact, cover these things, and whether you disagree with the definition of sin or not. I agree with your definition. That's what I'm saying. I okay, so, so so let's move to the next topic. What's the next one? What, what's another reason why the Bible's not true then? Well, real quick, real no, quick. So I, I know you're, 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 being, you're, you're using a lot of general, generalizations to, to try to say your Bible says this. Um, you know, your, your, your Ten Commandments mentioned nothing about rape, um, you know, but other, yes, religions, it does. other religions yes, have it does. pretty much the same tenets, you know, like the Ten Non-Virtuous Actions of the Buddha. I'm sure Hinduism has tenets uh, similar to this. So uh, you'll find you'll find tenets similar to that amongst atheists and atheist communities. So? Right. Like, so? like so, so so authors writing a reflection of what's what they see as right or wrong is nothing divine. Right. It, it, it's so just human beings writing a reflection. So? Yeah, see, see, that's a common uh, argument from the atheists that try to utilize what's called uh, not not. I'm, not, I'm, no, but I'm no longer an atheist, Veckel, uh, uh you, Oh, you're you not. Know, oh, he's a born philosophically. Again well, it doesn't matter to me what you, what it doesn't matter to me if you're no longer an atheist. What I care about is you coming to know Jesus Christ personally, so that you can get saved. Amen. So you think being an agnostic or a well, theist of some sort is good enough? No, it's I'm not. Open to it. I'm open to it. So what about okay. this Jesus Christ? Should I should I trust as fact? What do you about? What do you what do you call yourself now? The raging uh, leftist uh, rage. I call myself <laughs> not. What's that? I'm not. Not. Uh, the question they're asking, Frankel, is why is the Bible superior? The Bible is superior not because it of its it claims of miracles. Other books claims claim miracles. Right. The Bible is historical and evidential. They their books are not. Now that's not to say that they don't list actual historical claims and events that actually happened. They do, but they're not 100% accurate in doing so. Much of what they say was made up. Folklore or mythology. We don't have that with the scriptures, with its histor historical claims. That's the difference. And the other thing is, too, that you can find between the Bible and other writings is that they do talk about world issues and world events, you know, uh, love, hate, you know, evil, right. those kinds of things. So, yeah, so if you're going to see an older piece of scripture, older than the Tanakh, talking about the things that we see written in the Psalms and in the Proverbs, no big deal. 
right. you know, just because yeah. they these things are covered in the Proverbs that were also acknowledged by people that predate the Tanakh, that doesn't right. mean that yeah. there was some people borrowing stuff. They're just people ex the observing the same things, but in a different part of the world. That's all. Right. These principles and concepts were, have been known since the beginning of man. And just because they were passed down in, through tradition, through oral tradition, and it winds up in our Bible, and it also is in another text, uh, it doesn't mean that someone traveled. Are you filling the room? The elephant in the room, stomping right <laughs> you on. You came Rachel's in head. here with a hard on for came, yourself and and expressed that came, openly. I just came in here and said the Bible is a hundred percent accurate. A hundred percent. Challenge you to debate otherwise. As in which uh, bit? Which part of it? Everything. For me, just for, me to, for, me, for me to agree with what you just said, I will have to di disagree. It's going to be a six a six month debate, Paul. Yeah, that never know. ends. <laughs> You know why? You know why? Never, you know why? More, never more than that. That was true. Yeah, more than Rage. that, right? That was true, Rage. You know why it never ends? It's because you're going to keep coming back with more and more and more so-called contradictions, right. and I'm going to yep. crush every single one of them. Every single one of them that you bring to me, I'm going to destroy promptly, and you're going to come back with six more next week. So much. And that's so much. Gonna you're gonna be only, the only thing right you're come back with. Joe, it's time. Is the Bible there, there says is... this. The Bible says that. That's all you've got is the Bible. That that's right. Jill, and, every Everything you just said right. is a bunch of just egotistical. I think you better call Tyrone. It, it applies to it, 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 nothing you, that you just said applies to anything that we've been discussing. Nothing. Are you witnessing basket? Uh, she's an atheist. Uh, when I went to 23, hit me, and bam, and here I am. They hated him first. I mean, they, they're going to use unequal scales. They use, they, go, they make up place. You can. And, and it got really intensified when Christ was on earth, of course. Uh, 